dozens of National Guard members kidnapped. Let's talk about it. So if you didn't see my video a couple days ago, Mexico has completely collapsed, completely collapsed, all right? The president has essentially declared martial law and has made the move to bypass Congress and to keep the army and National Guard on the streets indefinitely and to merge the National Guard with the army and merge the police with the army as well. So this is getting serious. This is right south of our border, right? And this is happening in border cities, border states, all right? Right south of our border. So dozens of National Guard members have been kidnapped, captured, all right? So if you didn't know, the cities of Tijuana, the cities of Jalisco, cities of Guanajuato, um, have all been under cartel siege and everyday citizens are even being shot up. So there was a story of this guy that is a Uber driver or no, he does a uh, DoorDash. He like delivers food and delivers pizza and stuff. And he was just doing a delivery and he said that he felt a hot, a hot burning sensation in his foot and he didn't know what was happening. He was in shock and he had just got shot in the leg. And he ended up getting shot multiple times and had to drive himself back to the pizza shop covered in blood to call for help and to get help, all right? This is what's happening to everyday citizens just in their country, in Mexico and right south of our border. So the Mexican army has been fighting back. They've been trying to take back control of the streets and they arrested over they arrested 167 heavily armed members of a cartel and the cartel wasn't having that the cartel was not happy about that because they are they're essentially at war with the mexican army and mexican government and in retaliation the group kidnapped 25 National Guard members, 25 Mexican National Guard members. That's insane, that's serious. That's like, if they can kidnap 25 National Guard members, what else can they do? They are able to put up a fight against Mexico's military, Mexico's army. So what happens when this starts spilling over the border? When this starts heading over here and then we have to have National Guard just on the streets all the time fighting the cartel and possibly having our members kidnapped, all right? They're already harassing our National Guard, United States National Guard, and shooting at them on the border and the National Guard are not allowed to shoot back. They're not allowed to shoot back. They're sitting ducks, all right? And they used these 25 National Guard members as hostages essentially as kidnapping victims and they they negotiated terms to you know like leave the cartel alone let these people go they didn't say exactly what the negotiations led to but the national guard troops were released and the cartel wanted their members to be released as well so i'm assuming they got released as well because they just let them go let them out so this is coming to america this is coming to you soon this is a war on the country right south of us and there's no funding there's no help there's no money going towards this all right and even cruise ships so carnival and royal caribbean cruise ships have suspended travel to um baja california and tijuana they're not making any stops in baja california due to the severe violence that's going on there with the cartel and the cartel drug war that's happening so this is affecting industry too and tourism all right carnival and royal caribbean they were just circling in the ocean outside of baja california because they did not want to stop there they did not want to subject their customers to this violence and then be liable for it themselves and have their you know who knows maybe they'll take over their cruise ship or burn it down or something you know who knows these people are very unpredictable.
and even the Mexican president, all right? So a mayor, a mayor's son, a mayor who's come out against the cartel, his son was assassinated by the cartel. His car was shot up and he was assassinated. But the may, um, his son was killed, the mayor's son, and the president is coming out and saying big hugs to the mayor, which like I get that's good, big hugs, but I want to see a response. I want to see like, hey, you are not allowed to do this. This this is unacceptable in our society. There will be consequences for this. But I don't know. The best we're going to get is big hugs for this mayor that just had his son murdered, right? So it's, it just shows like the way they talk to the cartel, the way they respond to them, the way they almost like beg them to do things. It just shows that it's a collapsed state. These, these officials are probably compromised, a lot of them, because why aren't they getting attacked? Why, are, why do certain officials get targeted and attacked and then other ones just don't. So it's possible that even the president himself of Mexico could have some corruption, could have some deal with the cartel to leave him alone if he leaves him alone. So let me know what you guys think. This is escalating. This is right south of our border. And I keep saying it, but it's so true. If it hits the fan, these these gangs and cartels are going to be able to take over so easily. They're so organized. They have so many resources. They have so many people. They literally bust people out of jail. I was reading an article about how um, one of their one of their big guys of a cartel, one of the leaders, got arrested, and they made an armored truck and plowed through the prison walls and broke them out and broke out a bunch of cartel and gang members. This is how serious and dedicated these people are. They just like, they don't give a you know what. They don't give a you know what, flying you know what. They don't care. They don't care. And they're they're committed to this, all right? They're like, this gang is like their family. This cartel is like their family. They will like do anything for their leader. Like it's very serious. And if you step out of bounds, they will get your whole family you know it's one of those things where it's very serious loyalty is very important so let me know what you guys think what do you think is going to happen 25 national guard members were kidnapped by the cartel like how how is that possible how is that possible in mexico the country right south of us this isn't like some african drug lord or african whatever warlord situation this is in Mexico, right south of us. This is one of our biggest trading partners. People go there to vacation all the time. This is this should not be happening. So let me know what you guys think. And you guys have a big old blessed day. Thank you, guys.